Welcome to Car Seeing Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis, Hyundai, and Kia cars. And I'm here today at Hyundai Motor Studio Busan. And the car I have behind me today is Heritage Series Pony EV. And as we can see from the name itself, this is a heritage to that of uh, classic Hyundai cars. Let me give you some of the numbers. Pony we see before us was first revealed in 1947, which started to get produced in 1975. And the one we are seeing in front of us is actual Pony 1, a physical one. And the chassis and everything that we see before us is actually the real Pony 1. And Hyundai has gone through with this Pony 1. They got rid of everything inside out and they have gone with the new paint explicitly for this Pony and of course not to mention about the interior and technology. Well, for some of you Hyundai fans out there, you guys probably know what I mean by this, but Ionic 5 that's just been released recently was originally to have been the homage or the heritage to the pony but this one is the real deal this car was manufactured back in the 70s and back in that time everything was different be it safety regulations um, safety features emissions the dimensions all the technology put inside everything has to get different changed there just was no way for hyundai to make ionic 5 out of this size because as we can see it's it's quite a compact car compared to the modern standards and it wasn't really the case back in the time but again the car of this size we don't really get to see these size cars anymore we barely have seats on the back and well it's quite humongous on the front row seats however the proportion and the profile of the car something that we don't really see generally in today's market the distinctive difference on the exterior would be the headlights right there and also the turn signals underneath everything on this pony has been used with the pixel inspired light the parametric design now people are replacing the terms like the gas pedal into accelerator because there is no gas and so on and i wonder what the name would uh, people would come up with such thing as a mirror they have put together the fender and the front bumper as well as i like i really i really love what they've done with the splitter underneath you see that gray two-toned splitter on the underneath still using that old classic hyundai emblem on the back the font has not changed much ever since however it definitely has that classic scent matched with again on the back the digital inspired pixel lights that we have been seeing throughout Ionic 5 and other EV cars to come in the future. I was afraid that they might feel almost the same from a car to another. You know, looking the same thing on the back of the Ionic 5 and Ionic 6 and Pony and so forth. That was something that I had in mind. However, that really is not the case as we see with this Pony. They can really get creative with the turn signal like that, as well as the rear tail light. As for the wheels, they have restored the original wheel and also painted that also with two-tone on the pointers out there on the outer spoke. And also they have put in the Hyundai emblem with those square pixels. It also has the energy tire. I like that and this is the charging port as we have been seeing throughout on ionic and this outer trim here is actually a, a drain hole or outlet for rain and that is because back in the time there was less of a technology in terms of uh, you know making the design and the shapes and let me show you the trunk compartment and in the middle is actually that one person mobility kit which Hyundai calls it last mile or it's simply put it's a one wheel segway with that you'll be able to travel that one last mile like it says and on the left it is a drone and on the right is helmet for your safety this heritage pony it's actually 
suspended from the ground up and it's currently sitting on the second level and do you see the lift between the gap right there so for the safety reason i was not able to go inside and show you up close look of that unlike the exterior most of everything you, we see inside has been changed and that's of course with the door trim the doorknob uh, they kept the classic the window button right there the rolling type really curious how they operate but again um, this car is just a mock-up so we can't really test out the feature there and check out that steering wheel it has three spoke which is iconic to that of a uh, sporty cars all sporty cars have three spoke wheels and in the middle we see everything has been turned into the digital one distinctive design within this heritage pony would be definitely that vacuum tube sitting in the center cluster that is just outrageous and i'm not so sure if my phone is capturing it but you see there is a, a manual gear emblem engraved in the middle center console and of course it's you know it does not run on manual transmission but probably that's a um, heritage thing that they have put in a uh, nice touch i like that oh well yeah let's move over to here of course there's only a brake and accelerator there's no clutch oh just look at that i love what they've done with the footrest as well huh wonder why they haven't made that into a pixel design so here you are but this is like the killer of all just look at that crazy